I wanted to start by showing you how we got our pan off of the motor and out of here so we could get the gasket changed while the motor is still in the truck. Now, in the case of our video, uh, after this, we have the engine out, so we'll be able to show you all the details. But to show you how to get this out, the way we did it, we have two service manuals. Both of them call for actually hooking up like a cross support up top and raising the motor. So you'd have to actually take out the motor mount bolts on the sides and raise the motor two inches. Well, nobody really has that cross support bracket or they don't want to hook up an engine hoist. So an alternative that we did that you may consider is we came underneath here and here's our front differential and we removed this uh, fastener here. The head of this fastener is a 15 millimeter. On the back side is a nut and it's an 18 millimeter. And let's move forward so you can see it. And here's the front bracket. This side shows the nut. That's the 18 millimeter. On the other side's the head. And that is a 15 millimeter. And then if we move towards the passenger side, right here is the other nut. That's an 18 millimeter. And on the other side here, there's that uh, head of the bolt and that's a 15 millimeter. And what you wanna do is remove all of those. Also making sure that you support it with a jack, which is what we did and let me move back. Then what we did is we came up over here and we removed this cross member. And you have two fasteners over here that are 15 millimeter and two fasteners over there that are 15 millimeter. Once you get the cross member out, you're able to push down on this front differential bit. You'll lower your jack. You can push down on this. You can get an extra uh, inch or two out of this. And then what you can do is you can easily just lower the pan down a bit and just slide it right out like this and get your pan out. Now for our oil pan, we have our Felpro gasket here for that. And our part number is OS30725R. We have our Ultra Black Permatex gasket maker we'll be using, our 16 fasteners, as well as I've gone ahead and printed off our factory specs from our service manual. And we have our oil pan. Luke's gone through, totally cleaned this all out and repainted it. It looks fantastic. Now we flipped the motor over on our stand. We've gone ahead, made sure all of our surfaces are super clean, free of any oil. We even did the final touch with our alcohol again so we know that we have nothing to contaminate our gaskets and our sealing surfaces. So the first thing we want to do is take our ultra black here and we're going to put that in between our our timing chain cover and the block as well as our rear main seal retainer and the block again. Now we'll go ahead and place our gasket into position, our pan, and then we'll start putting our fasteners in and we're just going to tighten them by hand and get them to touch down to the oil pan itself. And I'm gonna be really careful lining this up. Place our pan. Start hand tightening some of our fasteners to hold it in place. And then what we'll do is take our tool and just run them down to where they're touching just the pan. We don't want to tighten them just to get them to hold it in place. Now we're ready to go ahead and actually tighten down our pan to our torque specs. And once again, Ford has a great three uh, three stage tightening sequence that they like to do and for our first stage it's to tighten these down to 18 inch pounds in our sequence now quite honestly uh, my torque wrench only goes down to 30 as its lowest setting 18 inch pounds is more or less going to be a finger tight plus maybe a quarter turn of that so we are actually we're going to start with 30 inch pounds it's what we have and that way we can get an accurate reading. Now our tightening sequence goes like this. We have number one is here, and that's pretty much almost right in the middle, just to the rear a bit. Number two is gonna be directly opposite of it. We have number three, number four, number five comes back here, number six, then we have seven, eight, 
we have 9 and 10 and then 11 and 12 are on the back and then when we come up here we have 13 14 15 and 16 and I'll put all this up on the screen for you so you'll be able to look at it as well we're gonna go ahead and get that started so why don't you give it to me and I'll do the one on this side and I'll hand it to you yeah I mean that's like nothing Stage two of our tightening sequence is to continue on with the way we've been doing it, except now we're going to actually tighten these to 15 foot-pounds. Now for our third and final tightening sequence with these fasteners, the spec is to now go to 60 degrees. Now we have a bit of an advantage with our digital torque wrench. We're actually able to go in and program it to 60 degrees and tell us. Another way you could do it would be to put some marks with like a painter's marker on there, or you can get the dials. Uh, you'll have to figure out which way is gonna work best for you. We're using our digital torque wrench. Make sure to subscribe and stick around here with us. In the next video of our series, we're going to be installing the valve covers with new gaskets. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching. <music>